A flooding injunction early last week led to four missing people that officials say they heard many screaming for help. That's yeah. where two of the victims were at. They were in top of those trees. Oh, like holding on for dear life? Yes. Wow. And then from the bridge, we threw them, the fire department threw them life jackets on ropes, advised them to put the life jacket on and to hang on to the tree. After those victims were airlifted to safety, Officer Supak says 19 people in total were saved. Fire department personnel were in the water uh, and with their trucks and stuff pulling people out of the water. Since the flooding early last week, again, there was another one early this week. And that affected more people on the main Lano. And on the main Lano, we had rescues uh, for several hours on the main Lano, trying to pull people out of the main Lano. Even though the Lano River has receded since the flooding, we are unable to get close to destruction sites. As you can see, the gate is locked and the caution tape along the gate is preventing us from getting inside. However, we did get close enough to see this RV right in the corner that is completely toppled over. We spoke to PIO officers who did let us know that they are still searching for missing vehicles and cleanup efforts have begun. We have found six. We're still missing two vehicles in a in a backhoe. Officer Supak says it is important to not cross the many barricaded roads around the area as search efforts for the fourth body continues. We still have one that uh, we need to confirm if, it was, if she was found or not. Uh, if not, once the weather calms down, we will go out and do more uh, rescue efforts. The community and other organizations across the state have helped relieve efforts immensely with donations and support. Jenna Kelly, KLST News. Oh, you just left a message too. You didn't talk to him?